everyone, it's Joyce the Dentist. One of the most important things you can do to keep your teeth and gums healthy is to floss your teeth every single day. And I get it, people hate flossing. It's not a secret. So what should you do if you have braces and you need to floss? It's not like you can just clean between your teeth with a typical strand of floss, right? But if you're not flossing with braces, you set yourself up for major issues like cavities, gingivitis, and bleeding gums. I mean, think about it. If you're not flossing, that's about 40% of your tooth surfaces that aren't getting cleaned. If you have braces, you're investing a lot of time and money into your smile. You want good results. So how do you floss your teeth with braces? You have a few different options. Number one is to use a floss threader. Now don't get me wrong, this is probably the most time consuming way of flossing around your braces. If you're set on flossing your teeth the old fashioned way, or you have something like a fixed retainer or bridge, a floss threader will probably be your go-to. Floss threaders look like long, flexible plastic needles. There's a loop on the end that you thread the floss through just like you would if you were sewing. Then you take the threader and weave it up and underneath the arch wire of your braces. At that point you can hold the floss on either end, wrap it around the respective teeth and floss those contact areas. Next you just slip the floss out and move on to the next two teeth, weaving the floss threader underneath and repeating the process. This method works great but like I said it's really time consuming. It's definitely not something that you can rush through. The good thing about floss threaders is that even though you're throwing away the floss after every use, you can reuse the threaders a few times before they start to get bent up. Number two is to use a floss pick that's specifically made to use with braces. These are not your everyday disposable floss picks that you see at the store. They are specifically made with angles and flat holders that allow you to slip the flosser underneath your arch wire without having to worry about breaking your braces off your teeth. With orthodontic flossers, you simply slide the floss underneath wire between your teeth, rub the side of each tooth a few times, then lift the floss over the gums and move to the next side of your tooth. With orthodontic flossers, you simply slide the floss under the wire between your teeth, rub the side of each tooth a few times, then lift the floss over the gums and move to the side of the next tooth. Orthodontic floss picks are probably the easiest and least messy way to floss around your braces. Plus, you can take them with you to school, on trips, or keep them in your bag for when you need them. The only issue with floss picks for braces is that sometimes they can be a little more challenging to get down in between any tight teeth or contacts that you have specifically for back teeth, which also means it can be harder to get them out so they might get stuck. If they do, don't panic. If that happens, just use nail clippers or something like that to snip the floss and wiggle it out. Option number three and the last one is one of my favorites using a water pick or a water flosser. Water picks are the equivalent of an electric toothbrush when it comes to flossing. These devices use a powerful but tiny stream of water to blast away plaque and food debris like you would with string floss. To use a water flosser with braces, you'll want to adjust the stream of water to your comfort level and then trace along the edges of your gums, pausing between each of your teeth for a few seconds to clean that tight area. Now, depending on which type of water pick you get, you might even have one with these interchangeable tips on it. For example, some of the tips have a tiny little brush which you can use to go around your braces right underneath the wire where your toothbrush doesn't reach. As you might guess, water flossers can get a little messy and take some practice to get used to. This might make them harder for younger patients to use as well. Since there are a lot of different models out there, you have options. For example, you could use a portable one, or there's also one that connects to the faucet in your shower, and you can use it in your shower. That way you can easily clean all of your teeth, but not have to worry about the water getting everywhere. Truth be told, I love water picks, not just for my patients with braces, but also those with gum disease, bridges, or dental implants. The fact of the matter is that water flossing can reach a lot of the areas that even traditional floss can't. So as long as you use it properly, you tend to have way healthier gums after a couple of weeks of use. If you're new to wearing braces, it's normal to feel a little overwhelmed when you have to clean around extra things like brackets and wires, especially when it comes to flossing. The good news is that braces aren't forever. By investing in your oral hygiene during your orthodontic treatment, you'll see even better results and healthier looking teeth once your braces come off. Plus, the better your oral hygiene, you won't have to worry as much about those pesky white circles on your teeth or cavities between them. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next next one. Bye!